This video is on the quadruple beam balance. Your objective to watching this video is to be able to read a quadruple beam balance. There are six parts of the quadruple beam balance. The first part down here is called the pan. This is where you put the object that's being masked. On the left hand side of the arm is the adjustment screw. The adjustment screw is used to zero out the balance before you start to mass an object. On the right hand side of the arm we have a white line called the pointer which matches up with the zero mark which is also a white line. When the balance is properly zeroed out both of these lines should be equal. We have four beams on the quadruple beam balance and each of the beams has its own riders. The riders are adjusted in order to find the mass of the object. When reading a quadruple beam balance, just like any other measuring device in the lab, it's important to remember this phrase, read the lines and estimate the spaces. You'll see exactly what I mean by that phrase as we go through this video. When we read the balance, we focus on the four beams on the arm at the top of the balance. You'll see that the back beam, the one that's farthest away from you, represents 100 gram units. The one in front of that, each space represents 10 gram units. The second one from you represents a 1 gram unit. And the beam at the very front of you has a couple different units on it. You'll see that the numbers represent 1 tenth of a gram. The lines between those numbers represent 1 one hundredth of a gram. And the space between those lines represents 1 one thousandth of the gram. So let's go ahead and let's read this balance. When we take a look at the beam farthest away from us, that's where we're going to start. And we can see that our rider is all the way over to the left, so it's at zero grams. That would give us a reading of zero, zero, zero grams, or no hundreds. Our next beam here in front of that, you'll see that the rider is boxed around the ten. What that means is that it's showing a reading of ten grams. The rider that's in front of that, the ones gram rider, you can see that it is boxed around the four, so that gives us a reading of four grams. Now the beam at the very front of you, the one closest to you, doesn't have a brown box like that of a four rider. It has a little silver rider, which is down here. And when we look at that, we see that it is pointing after the point 0.9 but for the 1.0 gram markings so we're going to go back to the one previous to it and we're going to say that it represents 0 0.9 grams. Let's get a close-up look at what that fourth rider looks like. We can see on the rider that it has a little metal point to it and it's that point where we're going to take our reading. When we look at the lines in between the 0.9 and the 1.0 grams, if we start counting from the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we can see that what it represents is 9 one hundredths or 0 0.09 grams. Those are the lines and we have read what each of the lines means. Now we're going to estimate the space between the two lines of our final reading. So we mentally divide that space up into 10 places and then we guess where our reading is going to be. So when I look at that white space and I see where the porch is pointing, I'm going to say that it's about 6 tenths of the way over, giving us a reading of 0 0.006 grams. Remember that this is an estimated value. It's going to be different for different people. So if you thought it was going to be a 4, whereas your partner next to you thought it was going to be a 7, that's okay. You just need to agree upon a number as what it's going to be for your data. We put all these numbers together. We have 0, 0, 0 grams plus 10 grams plus 4 grams plus 0.9 grams plus 0 0.09 grams plus 0 0.006 grams. We come up with a reading of 14.996 grams. Remember, a quadruple beam balance reading will always have three decimal places and a unit of grams. Even if the last number is a zero, you have to write the zero down. You always need to have three decimal places in your reading. Okay, let's go ahead and practice together on this reading. We can see when we take a look at the beam in the back that it has a reading of 100 grams. Our next beam has a reading of 80 grams. Our third beam has a reading of zero grams. 
and our fourth beam has a reading of 0 0.7 grams. Remember, we're going to take a look at where the rider is, and we're going to go to the number previous right in front of it, and we're going to see that it's 0 0.7 grams. Taking a look closer up on the rep upper right hand side here, we can see that the pointer is right on that second line, so our next reading is going to be 0 0.02 grams. Now because there's no point in the spacing, our final number is going to be 0 0.000 grams. When we put these all together, we're going to get a final reading of 180.720 grams. Now I want you to take what you've learned in the video and I want you to go ahead on your own take the final reading of this bal balance. Did you say 257.513 grams? Excellent. Okay, one more. Did you say 50.339 grams? Excellent. You now know how to read a quadruple beam balance.